A better future for every child with a hearing loss is about always reaching for the next goal. We always need to strive for the best. It's about providing solutions for a child at all ages and making sure that the solution grows with the child. What really makes working with pediatric challenging in my mind is that we are way beyond just talking about creating audibility for a child. One thing is being able to listen, another thing is to be supported for that development that any child has to go through in life. You have to make sure that you get it right. You can't do anything wrong. I mean, a child's well-being is depending on the technology that they're wearing. It's difficult because children change all the time and they are in so many different listening situations. The things that we can do uh, here at Oticon to, uh, to help uh, provide a better future for children with a hearing loss is to create some tools for, for the hearing care professionals so they can do a good fitting of the hearing aids. Doing well in pediatric, you can never do on your own. In order to succeed, I find it extremely important that we have a strong interaction with the world's academia. I'm sure that only by gathering all the knowledge that's created around the world on this uh, very important theme, we can uh, really move forward together. Partnerships between clinicians, industry and researchers have developed some very innovative ways to address clinical questions. It has led to the development of more easy to use procedures and it's challenged industry because clinicians have told us, here's the problems, here's what we need help with in terms of delivering services to children and their families. I think the benefit of working with external people is that it's always important to get input. It's always important to know what, what goes on in the real world because sitting here in this house, um, it's easy to get very focused on very small things, but it's important to know what makes the big difference. By actively partnering with industry, we can ensure that they have a good understanding of what the issues that clinicians in the field face. And then we can work together with them to develop innovative methods that are clinically implementable and feasible for clinicians to use. I think the work that we have done on the new ECRCD, the collaboration we have had with academia, in that uh, aspect has uh, really given the best solution. We needed to develop this in C to RCD measurement and we got the insights from external partners uh, about how, how to do RCD measurements. What does the RCD of a child look like and what's the best approach to do it? And actually what we figured out from the collaboration is that the usability part of using equipment to measure this is just as important as doing a precise measurement. This is actually a place where we worked with academia and with external stakeholders to make sure that what we think is easy is also what they think is easy. In our hospital environment, real ear measure is kind of a luxury that perhaps they don't understand is necessary. So now having that available and being able to utilize that in you know, a very time efficient manner you know, is going to make a big difference. If we can make a product where we can ensure that the hearing care professionals will do the RCD measurement, then we are also able to ensure that they, that they provide a much better fit for, for the child. And in the end, it will result in a, in a better compensation for the child's hearing loss. It's important to Oticon Pediatrics to provide evidence around uh, the products that we are developing, not only to uh, understand how it works on the children, but also to take the results that we get from our external testing and feed them back into uh, R&D. Trials and clinical evidence is really important. You want to have the confidence that this is a good product before you're putting it on a child that really can't respond much to you. And I, I can't think of anything worse than losing the confidence of the parents if you have something you know, that is not tested. I think these partnerships challenge both industry and researchers. It challenges us to address the needs of clinicians and it challenges us to be innovative in addressing those needs and ultimately positively impacting the services clinicians can offer to families. My dream scenario in this business and working with pediatric would be that living with hearing loss was fundamentally not an issue. A better future for every child with a hearing loss is about 
always reaching for the next goal.